you'll often find studs like this, especially if you do a lot of work on your car, they often use things like this when you're fixing your exhaust manifold or your inlet manifold to your engine. And removing them can be really difficult. So if you ever come across a stud like that and you need to remove it, you can always go out and buy a, a stud remover which actually fits over the stud and when you turn it, it grips it and will remove it, but the problem is you damage your thread. So there is an easier way that you can try before you go out and buy a, a stud remover. So first off we're going to remove the nut. And we'll just take that off whatever it's holding. So you can see there that you've got the threaded part of the stud and then the non-threaded part and then obviously the other bit that's screwed into there is also threaded. So it's, it's always a good idea to give it a good spray with some spray penetrant. There are quite a few different makes on the market and everybody has their own favourite but I'll use any to be honest. They all do the same job. So the next thing you want to do is screw your nut back on. And then you want to screw another nut back on. So you've got two nuts on there now. And then you need to grip the bottom nut and then tighten the top nut. If you do that, they actually grip against each other. So now I've got two nuts there that are tightened against each other. So now I'm going to grip the bottom nut in an anti-clockwise direction. And as you can see, because I've tightened both nuts against each other, they're actually pulling the stud out when I unscrew it. And it's not always as easy as that, believe me. If you're trying to get one out on an engine that's been in for 10 years, it's really difficult. And a lot of the time they will snap off. But that is a good way to try and get them out by locking two nuts on together.